This is Ratsi. He is a three-year-old yellow lab that has been trained in accelerant detection work, or more commonly known as an arson dog. All right. It may be hard to imagine being this eager to get to work. All right, come on. But for West Metro's new arson dog, it's what he lives for. That's a boy, good dog. Good boy. Rotsi and his handler, Fire Investigations Lieutenant Brian Everly, became a team at the State Farm Arson Dog Program. The training that we went through out of New Hampshire is a 200-hour course. From that first meeting where I brought Rotsi out of the kennel, from that point forward, he hasn't left my side. He stayed in my room. Um, you know, whatever I did, he was right there with me. 26 days of intensive training, testing both dog and handler in a variety of settings and fire scenes, learning how to be partners so Rotsi's nose could be put to work. Primary alert. Yeah. His ability to investigate a fire scene for ignitable liquid residue or accelerants is much faster than what our, our abilities are as, as people with our tools. So we spend less time having to look for those, you know, those areas of accelerant. He's also way more accurate. Still, to this day, there's nothing more accurate that we have in the industry than his nose. Rossi's job is simple, to search for what an arsonist might leave behind. The residue from accelerants used to start a fire. Good boy. And so he trains with a solution of diluted gasoline, just a couple of drops here and there, enough for his sensitive nose to pick up. All right, come on. And when he zeroes in on the scent, he lets his partner know by sitting in place. That's a boy, good dog. Good boy. Rossi's oh, speed at detection not only gives investigators the information they need more quickly, it All also right. cuts down on time spent in a potentially harmful environment. Just because the fire's out, everything that is burned is still off-gassing. It's still putting out those toxic and hazardous substances in the air, the carcinogens that um, we really want to try to avoid. So again, if we're spending less time there, there's less of an exposure there, which is um, you know, better in the long run for all of our personnel. And while he is a working dog, he comes to the office with me. Rotsi gets plenty of love and attention no matter where he is. Hey. He's not a therapy dog, he's a working dog. People still get very happy to see him. So, hey, we get to walk around the office and he's the most popular guy and, you know, people get a little, uh, get a little dog break. But as soon as I'm done, you know, done for the day, Rotsi loads up and he comes home with me. So he lives kind of this dual, dual role. He's definitely a working dog and he has his job here at the fire department. But when we're not working, he's, he's just the family dog. Good dog, good boy.